Okay, we'll do a quick little update on these two trucks. 1956 Ford F100, all bare metal, stayed just like this. We're not gonna paint this truck. We're not doing any body work on this truck. We will eventually end up graining this truck kind of all horizontal and get it nice and clean. It's gonna be in Cerakote. I'm gonna open the door here, but obviously, you know, I have to be careful what I touch because the oil from my hands really upsets everyone. So the goal is for us to come up with kind of a cool design, all bare metal. So we got some really nice distressed, like almost baseball glove leather that we're gonna be using in here. It's gonna be super cool. The bench seat will come here. We got a low car shifter in here. We've got the low car gas pedal. And then we, of course, we got the parking or the, um, the brake right there. So let's we'll call it a parking brake. Yeah. You ever just get so much in your mind, you just can't even use the words. They're just so much. That's kind of how I feel sometimes. I got so many things that got crammed up in here about all the details of all these trucks that sometimes I can't even think of the words. Also, I'm getting old, so brain fog sets in a little bit. All right, so, and then what we've got right here is a Flaming River steering column. Now, I am a huge fan of Flaming River steering columns. And one of the things that kind of convinced me of why, one is everything they do is out of stainless steel. So nothing's ever gonna rust. Uh, contrary to some of the others, which are in actual steel, if you don't paint it, it's gonna rust. So this one, I can leave it a brushed finish and it's, it's good, it's never gonna rust on me. And it has that, that mill finish look, it's cool. You can also get it polished, you can get them powder coated black, or you get it just like this and you paint it whatever color you want. I also like the fact the diameter is small and this cone right here, this cone is small and it's about two inches shorter than the I did it steering column. And so when we're using these in other trucks, Chevy's, GM and all that stuff, and I'm afraid to have the steering wheel two inches closer to my chest, that's why we went to this. And so you can actually go on our website and you can actually buy this actual kit. It comes with a column, it comes with a, a, a three and a half or four and a half inch drop, depending on what you want. It also comes with the plate and the column mount down here. You can also buy the universal joints and everything go with this. Also something unique about these columns is there's no indicator on top. So that's actually something we special ordered from Flaming River is we wanted no indicators. Now, why would I want no indicators? When you put it in park, reverse, neutral, right? But you wanna know what gear you're in. But oftentimes you're using Dakota digital gauges. The Dakota digital gauges will show you what gear you're in. You don't need the redundancy and to have that big plastic thing in your way. Anytime we're doing a coyote swap and it's not like factory original, which is everything, we, we don't want indicators on it. If you're doing a manual column, that's easy. But over here, I'll show you over here on this truck. I think we got the column in on this one. So this one is the exact same thing. This is something kind of unique that we've come up with and designed with Flaming River that works excellent for every coyote swap that you're doing an automatic transmission. This is perfect. So if you're looking for a 1953 to 1956 or 1948 to 1952, you can go to the website and you can actually purchase it. We do have all the other columns. I just haven't got the time to put them all up on the website yet. And that's gonna be done over the next couple of weeks. The rest of the 57 to 60, 60 to 66, and 67 to 79, you'll have all those columns available. Again, the principle's the same. If you're building a truck, you got Dakota digital gauges, and you buy the GS3000 that mounts to the transmission, that'll supply the information you need to the Dakota digital gauges to tell you what gear you're in. So super cool. This panel right here, it's about ready to go to the body shop. A little bit more work to do. We got rid of the hinges that were right here, right? So you got these hinges that stick out. Essentially, this is a family heirloom vehicle. They've had this. It's delivered furniture and all kinds of stuff. But we wanted to clean this little section up back here. We probably got another week of just kind of fine tuning all this stuff. And then I think we're pretty close to calling it timeout. And this will be done. I know wait its turn to get in the body shop. Uh, you know there's a couple projects in there. This will be waiting. We'll skip the body shop and it'll go right into the paint department and they'll just start cleaning this and seracoding this and staying just in this bare metal state. So a couple cool 56s. We've got uh, several others we're gonna be bringing into the shop soon. We got a 66, it's gonna be super cool. We got a 57, I mean, it, the list goes on and on. There's a lot. Anyway, so that's kind of it on these steering columns. There's a couple options we've showed you and how they installed, even though this is an automatic, but the shifter's on the actual floor with a low car shifter. So therefore we just want a manual column 
and then this is a full automatic with the, the tilt. So very good quality product. Hopefully we've explained why we use them. And the guy that's spraying the air nozzle in the back of the shop, I'm coming for you after this video. Dang it. They always wreck things up. Anyways, we've got these on the website. Check them out, fatfender.com. Just type in column in the search bar and it'll take you to all the products for your stuff. So uh, with that, I'm out and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.